to my channel my name is Akusia Behini if you're new you're welcome in today's video I thought that I should share with you guys my morning routine what my morning routine is looking like right now that I have a newborn on hand so this video is going to be uh, a morning routine with a newborn baby so today I'm going to be sharing with showing you guys everything that I do in the morning and also today we have a doctor's appointment so I'll show you guys how we get ready to go out and how I pack stuff to go out basically a morning routine including how I get ready to take it out so I hope that you like this video if you're interested please subscribe to the channel um, give this video a huge thumbs up if you do like it and yeah let's just get into the video okay so first off let me talk about sleeping and um, how our sleeping situation is right now so as you guys can see this is her bassinet which is literally next to our bed so she um, every evening when I do her evening routine she lays in her bassinet um, I mean when she's sleeping she lays in her bassinet for like for sleeping and then when she wakes up in the middle of the night say usually when she wakes up around like 12 1 ish then I move her into my bed now I wanted to talk about this because I know a lot of people have um, things that they like to say about cold sleeping especially in America um, in America it's not something that is done it's not something that's advisable but one thing that you guys should know is that I'm African I'm from Ghana um, this is something that we've been doing for the longest time um, this is something that I did with my first daughter so this is something that's in no way I would say that pick from me this is just something that we are doing this is just something that we're comfortable with doing and also with that being said um, we're being very vigilant like <laughs> When she's sleeping by me, I am watching her the whole time. I'm making sure to not like sleep deep or like go very deep into my sleep and miss out on her sleeping or whatever. With that being said, I'm just trying to say that yes, people have their concerns or their reservations about co-sleeping, um, but um, you, you um, like what that's just what we're doing. We do both bassinet and co-sleeping, and she has her crib as well so her crib is big it's really i think it's too big for her so i decided that we get a bassinet and that's why we got the bassinet and she she sleeps in the bassinet she's so far she's been amazing at sleeping in the bassinet um but it's also really nice to have your baby by you sometimes if you have a baby and you can relate please comment down below it's just really nice to have like that skin to skin contact and just really nice to have your baby in your arms it's just that love you know um so it, it, sometimes even it, it in no way um it's in no way has anything to do with co sleeping. Sometimes it's just that love and affection that you want to show the baby, or you just want to take care of the baby. And another thing that um, another thing that my husband and I um, we talk about a lot, or happens to be a concern a lot, is babies do a lot of spit up. Like say when you feed a baby and she beeps and she goes to sleep, sometimes they throw up. I'm, I mean, they spit up when they're sleeping. And sometimes these kind of spit ups come from their nose because their system is really too small and still trying to figure out a lot of things, especially with the fact that they're like newborn, newborn. So this spit up comes from the nose. And I'm talking with experience, especially like uh, with something that I've seen with my daughter. When she spits up and some comes through her nose, I see that she struggles a lot. And especially with this weather, summer and everything, the air is very musty. It's not so good. You need a diffuser on hand even with a diffuser on hand it's not always so good as compared to how you that you've been living here for a long time will feel she is now like adjusting to the world and to the kind of air that we breathe and everything so they experience like cold here and there you know stuffy nose here and there so this baby is in a bassinet she's putting up through her nose she has stuffy nose you're sleeping in your bed deep asleep how are you going to know so one way or the other i feel like um 
also when you have them close to you you're able to see a lot of things that's just how i feel but yeah i just wanted to talk about that and talk about cold sleeping and bassinet sleeping because people have concerns and reservations but if you care to know we do both she sleeps in the bassinet very beautifully even especially during the daytime she doesn't sleep in our bed at all during the daytime when we go downstairs she's in her crib the whole time or she's sleeping in her um rocking <clears throat> rocking chair or her bassinet and also as you guys can see up here what we have here is our baby monitor so our baby monitor is made for her bassinet so um when we're downstairs and say she's sleeping in her bassinet and i have to check on her i have the baby monitor the parents units with me and then i'm looking at that and also the monitor can look at my bed so when she's sleeping on my bed say she is sleeping face down you know um babies babies sleep face down but you need to monitor them when they're sleeping face down from one month and up so when she, she she started sleeping face down so when she's sleeping face down and i want to monitor her this camera does a good job at helping me to do that i'll link this in the description box below we got it from amazon being very helpful one of the most helpful newborn items that i've had on hand till date it, um i intend to share it in a video with you guys essential items that you need on hand as um a new mom for a newborn um and also this bassinet we got from amazon so i will link it in the description box below um it's currently um almost 8 a.m a little 10 minutes to 8 a.m so since she's sleeping i will go and start my routine i'm gonna go brush my teeth um yeah i haven't brushed my teeth <laughs> but i'm gonna go brush my teeth do my morning routine if she's still sleeping i'll take a shower like i said we're going for doctor's appointment today when we're going for doctor's appointment i like to be very on time um i like to do things very fast because as you guys can see i'm alone i'm going for the doctor's appointment by myself so um I, I like to do things on time just so that i don't run behind schedule so as she's sleeping i'll go and do my routine if she wasn't sleeping would have done her routine fed her and then put her back to sleep then we'll quickly do my routine but since she's sleeping i'm gonna go do my routine so let's go downstairs and let me do my routine but like i said because she's sleeping face down i will grab the baby monitor um the parent unit downstairs just so we can keep an eye on her and yeah let's go okay so the next thing for me will be my vitamins um i'm still taking my prenatal vitamins I have my six weeks doctor's appointment this Friday. I don't know if I have to stop taking it by then. I don't know, but I'm waiting for my doctor to tell me what to do. So we're gonna take my prenatal vitamins. Okay, so she is sleeping it looks like she's gonna be sleeping for a while it looks like she's actually sleeping so i'm thinking i'm thinking i do my entire morning routine sometimes i don't finish my entire morning routine and then she wakes up sometimes i finish so right now she's sleeping i'm gonna go pick up i'm gonna go pick out my outfit for the day and then i'll come back downstairs take my shower if she's still sleeping we'll have breakfast if she's still sleeping I will pack up my hospital bag and then if she's awake we just do her routine and then we're done but if she wakes up we'll do her routine but we'll put everything else on hold that's that is legit how my mornings are always looking like i try to do something that's like for my routine and then when she's up and she's hungry and she's ready to go i gotta go do her routine so that's basically new mom life so new mom life second time mom life i mean but if you're a new mom that's what you should be looking for it so um let's let's go upstairs let's go and pick out an outfit for the day i already picked out her outfit i already have her everything set out for today so i don't need to do anything for her i just need to bathe her i mean clean her up usually when they sleep face down they sleep really good when they sleep face down they sleep so well so she's probably going to be sleeping for a while yeah so let's pick out an outfit um i don't know where to put you guys let me see 
Alright guys. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I'm gonna quickly shower and do my skincare. And I'll see you guys in a bit. I wanna do it quick before she wakes up. shower is done let's do morning skincare routine um the baby monitor guys i'm gonna link it in the description box it's really good it has sound so i can hear if she cries and i can speak to her through the baby monitor so for my morning skincare routine i don't um cleanse my skin in the mornings i just don't cleanse my skin. <laughs> don't cleanse my skin in the morning. I just use micellar water. So I'm gonna take some micellar water and a cotton pad and just use that to wipe my face. But whenever I put on makeup the night before, I'll I'm gonna cleanse my skin. But if I don't put on makeup, then there's no point. Next, I'm gonna go in with my hyaluronic acid. Can you guys hear me? It's because she's sleeping. I'm talking really undertone. But next, I'm going to go in with some hyaluronic acid. I lost a fingernail yesterday. That's why I don't do stick-on nails, okay? They just don't work for me. For my everyday lifestyle, my, my hands are too busy. They're way too busy. <laughs> feel like I need... I feel like I need... To roll my face because i feel i think i feel tense in these areas i don't know my neck area feels really tense i don't know i think i slept on my neck so i'm just going to use this this is from sasha is it sasha what's it called um cash uk cash something something cash uk you guys know that brand this is going to help with lymphatic drainage so for whenever i feel like my 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 face feels tense in these areas i just use this stuff it's really good next i'm gonna go in with moisturizer from saint ives this one this is just a hydrating moisturizer it smells like watermelon it smells so good <laughs> My routine is really simple. Next, I'm gonna use some oil, antioxidant oil. Uh, and then last, but not the least, I'm gonna use sunscreen. Sunscreen, this is from Sunday Riley, by the way. Sunday Riley, I got it as PR, so I'm very grateful for that. I don't do the two finger rule, I used to, but I think that it's just a lot for me, it's too much for me. I don't know, see, this is not even the two finger rule, but it's gonna go away, it's gonna melt in really nice. And then my lip balm, I think my lip balm is in my office, I'll grab it later. But yeah, that's literally morning skincare. I don't think I want to do makeup today. I honestly don't think I want to do makeup today because whenever I'm handling the baby and like we're going out and I have to be the one to handle her all by myself, I try not to do makeup. So just so I'm not stressed. Plus it's summer, you know, like you'll be sweating, you know, and then you'll be trying to fix your makeup, trying to feed the baby. She's still very, very newborn. So she requires so much attention. So I'm not going to do makeup. I'm just going to do my edges, style my hair really nice. And then, yeah, that should be it. But, yeah, I have my everyday earrings going on. So there's not so much I need to do. Okay. <laughs> but see, the sunscreen just goes away. It goes away really nice. Okay, enough of the talk talk. She's going to wake up. So let me finish. I styled my hair, put it up in a bun. I think it looks really cute. I'm currently trying to hold these edges down right now i'm gonna make breakfast for myself because i'm hungry i am hungry i'm gonna go ahead and just 
make something for myself i don't know what i want to eat i think i have a list of breakfast ideas on my phone i am such a bad eater my egg refuses to come out in style huh? why would you do that why <laughs> see this is not supposed to happen it's supposed to look cute So breakfast is ready that was a quick one my egg i'm so mad because and you said to tea and you said to tea and you said to tea <laughs> that's the only thing that's making me mad but aside that i'm having some apple for fruit um some light wheat bread very thin this stuff is so thin um and then some eggs and then some yogurt so that's literally what i'm having for breakfast I am gonna go ahead. She's moving, but she's still not awake. And we're on top of our day. <laughs> but I don't wanna be so excited before she wakes up and the day will start going differently. <laughs> so I'm gonna go have breakfast in the living room. I'm not even going to go upstairs. And then after breakfast, I should be done with my set of things that I have to do. And then now when she wakes up, we can take care of her. So yeah, let's go and have breakfast. <laughs> about to pack her diaper bag her diaper and changing bag and I want to show you guys how I do it and that's on period <laughs> mama is ready to conquer the day so yeah. ready to go okay so now for baby's morning routine we just give her a good wipe down we don't do we don't bathe her in the evening i mean we don't bathe her in the morning just because she's a baby she doesn't need bathing like that she doesn't bring home she just sleeps wakes up eats and she's done for the day this is <laughs> this is literally the dedicated spot i don't know i find it i don't clean her up in the bathroom depending on how i feel to be honest depending on how i feel um I f this is comfortable it's, and also i'm just cleaning her up with a wet towel um and this so it's not so much work but in the evening when we have to bathe her then i will go to the bathroom let's have this basket here this is a basket that i got from target it's really cute really really cute and in this basket this is where i pack her clothes i mean like this is where i put stuff that we're gonna use the next day so say before i go to bed i pick out her outfit pick out a diaper her sock her bed cloth literally all of that stuff and then i put it in this basket and um her vitamin d she takes vitamin d right now um, prescribed by her doctor so i put that here and she has nasal drops you know a few things that i need on hand when i'm cleaning her up i just put that here and then i bring it downstairs so every time or literally every day i have this ready to go so that when i'm here i'm not like found wanting like i'm looking for something and i don't have help on hand you know so this is really helpful i mean this idea is really helpful if you're like doing things by yourself especially if you're single parenting so when when i come downstairs and i have to clean her up i just bring her here if i have to be here or i clean her up in the bathroom and still bring her here and then dress her up here so let me she's still sleeping right now to be honest um i don't know i don't want to wake her up our appointment is at 11 30 and it's currently almost 10 so i think i should just chill let her sleep when she's ready to wake up we'll wake up and then we'll do her morning routine and then that should be it for the video okay guys so i uh, as part of my morning routine i pump i pump breast milk for the baby i pump literally three three to four times a day sometimes five times a day um but every morning i pump and for pumping i use the medela medela double breast pumping system i have it here 
I have it in a setup, so like I don't move it because it's in a whole bag, as you guys can see. So it's easier for me to work with it like that. Um, she she's waking up, so very soon we're going to do her routine. But yeah, I'm gonna quick quickly pump while she's still figuring it out. I'll pump for like five to eight minutes the most, and yeah. I should be done. Say good morning, YouTube. <laughs> you, I mean, go, hey, poo poo. Hey, poo poo, baby. <laughs> Guys, for her hair, this is what I use Ayashe Essentials. I'm going to tag her in the description box below. Unrefined Share Butter 100%. Yes, mommy. So I'm just gonna make her bed, and there. Uh, that's it. That's literally it for our morning routine. I put these things together. Hospital bag is ready to go. Um, it's almost time for us to leave the house anyway, so that's it. When she's ready to go, she's literally ready to go, and she's yawning, so she's also ready to fall back asleep. <laughs> So yeah, the weather is really hot, so I don't put on any, what's it called, um, muffins, yeah, the hand glove situation, she's not putting that on because the weather is very hot, and I also learned or read on the internet that that hand glove situation prevents them from using their hands. Technically, as babies, their brain is now forming, so their brain is now figuring out how to use various parts of their bodies so you need to be able to help them help themselves as a parent so um that thing is just basically restricting her from moving her hands um i read that all the hair pulling all of the stuff that they do with their fingers scratching their face is just because they don't have control over their hand movements but technically they are supposed to be doing that to be learning how to use their hands so that's how god has programmed it so um apparently the muffins things are good when the weather is cold but aside that it's not really good for them to learn how to do hand movements so i usually don't put them on i put them on them on when i feel like the weather is cold and i need her to um, be warm and cozy um or when i feel like i want her to sleep and i don't want to wrap her up but i want her to sleep and still feel warm and cozy then i'll just put that on but it's not an everyday thing especially in this weather it's not a thing my love she's so full but yeah it's looking like the end of the video right now <laughs> yeah guys i think this is where we bring the morning routine video to an end my morning routine is done i'm ready to go if i didn't have to go to the hospital i'm ready to go to work so it's still the same thing and she's also ready to start her day usually her day involves sleeping eating a little bit of wait time to play around a little she doesn't play around play around she literally just makes cooing sounds and sits around for like 30 45 minutes and then she goes back to sleep so that's what her day is up like what well, that's that's what her day is about there's usually nothing really fun you know she's just a baby <laughs> And then my day involves being in my office home office and just creating content editing videos and doing social media stuff so yeah um, we're gonna go now comment down below if there's any questions that you have every um, thing that I showed you guys in this video that I said that I was gonna link in the description box will be linked in the description box so be sure to check the description box just in case you want something and also comment down below if you have any video ideas that you want me to shoot or if you want anything that you want me to if you want to see from my channel please comment down below and let me know and yeah subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that follow your girl on instagram that's where you get a lot of my daily life updates <laughs> i guess um but instagram is is where we're best friends okay <laughs> we're internet best friends so Follow me on Instagram, all social media platforms, Akusia Benjini. And yeah, I'm going to go away now. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Mwah. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mommy, say bye too.